Hey guys, Ravi here from IraFX and I welcome you to another After Effects tutorial. So, let us first have a look at what we are going to be creating today. So this is Harry Potter Apparition Effect or Harry Potter Portal Effect. This is a beginner's tutorial considering the fact that you know the interface of Adobe After Effects. Also, if you'd like to follow along, you can download the project files, raw footages from my website irafx.net. So without any delay, let's get started. Let us first divide this tutorial into three steps. Step 1 shooting the scene, step 2 making the portal effect, step 3 adding final touches. So in the first step all you have to do is shoot a video something like this. Place your camera on a tripod and jump like this and move rough steps forward. This is quite simple what you have to do and also make sure you have a clean plate of the background that will be useful for our effect. So once you are done with shooting the scene like this, um, drag your raw footage onto this small icon here so that you get a new composition and also drag this background under your raw footage like this. So at this point are going to um, create this uh, portal effect and at this point when the character is in the air right click on this layer and from time on freeze frame so we are going to use around 0.8 seconds just around 20 frames of footage for creating the apparition effect so the next thing that you have to do is mask your character from the freezed frame um, uh, using the pen tool so click on this pen tool here and zoom in a little bit and make sure you create a mask around the character Honest, it doesn't have to be really very perfect, but making a clean outline always special. So, Alright, so I masked my character like this. If I just solo this layer, you can see that I have a uh, character masked out. So, the next thing that I do is click on this puppet pin tool here and create a couple of points on. Five, six, seven. So I create this puppet points, pin points like this. And what I do now is make a C shape out of this layer. It's 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 really odd if you see it like this, but trust me, is definitely. Make a C shape with R. D. Not looking really good, but yep. Let's make it much better. This looks okay to me. The next thing that we have to do is we have this anchor point here center and we'll have to move this exactly to the uh, middle of our C shape 
So click on this pan behind anchor point tool like this and drag this anchor point center of our C like this. Now if we rotate our uh, our uh, mask it will rotate around this anchor point like this. Okay the next thing that we have to do is make this um, layer 3D just rename this to so that we avoid any confusion. Once you turn this um, mask layer into 3D all we have to do now is click on this timer button here for the rotation of z-axis at the first frame of this layer and move to the last frame of this layer and set this um, value to 6 times so you get you see 6 into 1.0 so what this does is your mass rotates like this and now we have to we click on this button here to enable motion blur for our um, for our layer and click on this button here so that it enables motion blur for the uh, entire composition as well. So now you see that our animation like this looks good to me and it's not looking odd now but you have to duplicate this layer multiple times by clicking uh, by holding Ctrl D on your keyboard once and click on R on your keyboard so that you can see the rotation and it change the Y axis a bit so that the rotation happens in the other direction like this. And also duplicate it one more time. Control T and click R again. Change rotation, different angle for this one as well. It all depends on how you want the portal to be. So I actually duplicate want to duplicate it four times one more time change the axis it layer as well yep so if I start playing this this is how my portal is going to look like looks fine to me play it once again Good. What I do now is simply scale these four by uh, tapping S on the keyboard. I scale it to not five. That portal is better. Select these four portal layers and pre-compose it, and you can call this portal effect. Now we are done with step number two as well where we created this portal layer. The next thing that we have to do is drag your raw footage and ensure that you are in the air. Turn this off for a while. Cut this point. Cut this video at this point and all looks good to me. And as soon as you fall down have to um, add a smoke effect you can add any sort of smoke I have this smoke effect a powdered smoke that affects and presets panel add a curve to it so that it turns black I click I tap R on the keyboard and rotate it this
एट 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 You can actually download this smoke effect from my project for project folder my website and now I enable this portal effect I'm top and I this so that as soon as the portal ends character has to fall from the portal like and this point oak as well as the character has to fall down well if i start playing this how it's going to see it once again yep now in order to give a a clean effect to this entire composition we'll have to add a wiggle effect onto our entire composition compose all these things to one particular layer form so we have have to add a wiggle effect for at this point on p on your keyboard that you get a trim by clicking this timer icon here also at the last frame of the pixel at the landing and on this button here so that you have two keyframes select both these keyframes and from wiggler set this um, noise type to jagged and set the frequency to 10 and magnitude to 10 as well and click apply so if you see it this is how it's going to look like in order to avoid this um corners uh, getting some discrepancy just in the simply scale this to 10 times twice we are done with our effect i hope you like this video and do let me know in the comment section if you are looking for some tutorials you are looking for some more tutorials consider subscribing to my channel and if you'd like to talk to me you can uh, follow me on instagram at vfxguyravi if you're looking for more visual effects and tutorials consider subscribing to my channel and uh, See you guys next time.